My name is Stacy Johnson, and I'm the new store associate. You're going to be the new associate? Yes, yes I am. Okay, but aren't you a little old? I mean, normally we have kids just out of high school doing this job. Oh, um, well, we all got to do what we got to do. I actually love clothes, so I think I'll be a great addition to the team. Uh, why don't you start somewhere over there with the jeans, fold the jeans. If anyone comes in, ask any questions. Okay, is there any training involved, any selling points on the clothes? It is my first day, after all. Lady, it's not rocket science. It's clothing. So get to it before I have to dock your pay. We're not doing anything. Okay, thank you, Ben. I'll get right to work. Hi, excuse me, do you work here by any chance? Yes, yes I do. Well, I just graduated from school and I'm gonna start applying for jobs. I do want to look more professional, but also like I want to feel comfortable for the interviews. And uh, to be honest with you, this is my first time applying for jobs, so I really want to make a good impression. You know what, you can never go wrong with a blazer and mm -hmm. pinstripes. And I believe these would probably be your size. Would you like Great. to try them on? Yes, of course. All right, I'll show yeah. you the dress. Thank you so much. Right this way. Thank you. Wow, this outfit really makes me feel professional. I think this could be my go-to look for work. Outfit is fantastic on you. Thank you. Miss new associate, um, can I have a word with you for a moment over here? Oh, mm-hmm, okay. What's up then? What's up? I'll tell you what's up. That girl can't afford any of the clothes that she's trying on. If you're not careful, she's gonna run out the store with them. What are you talking about? Oh, don't be naive with me. This is the real world, Grandma. And girls like that can't afford clothes from Stacy's. They steal stuff. Um, excuse me, but are you all talking about me? I couldn't help but notice you look in my direction. As a matter of fact, we are. Girls like you can't afford to shop in a store like this. So please take off those clothes immediately. Okay, excuse me, I've heard enough. Hey, you can't speak to me like that. I'm the manager here. Not anymore. I'm Stacy Johnson, the founder and CEO of these clothing stores. What? Is this some kind of joke? You wish. Every year, I go into one of my clothing stores posing as a new store associate to make sure things are running smoothly on the ground level. I have never met a ruder, more incompetent manager than you, Ben. Mrs. Johnson, I mean, this is a big miscommunication. See, with all the new associates, I like to joke around and tease them on their first day. My manager did it to me when I first started. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, but that's still no excuse for your sexist ways, which have no place here at Stacy's. We're all are welcome. Now you get your things and get out before I call security. Fine. This store is a trash pit anyway. I want you to know that your clothes stink. Not as much as your breath. Now get out. Well, hello. Hello. <laughs> what do we have here? Hi. Uh, how you doing? I'm Jamie. Jamie? My friends call me Chad, but you can call me any time. All right. Well, uh, hello, Chad. Anything I can help you with? Uh, yeah. Actually, yeah. Yeah, you can help me by giving me your number. Hmm. Are you always this forward with new employees around the office? No. No, no, no. Only when they're as strikingly gorgeous and beautiful as you. I mean, what can I say? I see something I like, I go after it. I'm like, I don't know, the alpha male or whatever. All right. Well, that was odd. I'm the top salesman, okay? I'm the top G, the head honcho. I'm up here, everybody else is down here. Mm. It's kind of how it goes. I'm like the lion of the jungle. Oh, well, having heard people say that, you must be very proud. That's no small feat, considering lions are not uh, native to the jungle. <laughs> You're a smart cookie. <laughs> I like that. And I also like this repartee that we got going on. I say we continue it later, tonight. Where? at dinner. Uh, well, while I appreciate the very flattering offer, I will have to decline. I don't date co-workers. 
Besides, it's against company policy. <sighs> okay, company policy, company schmolicy. Nobody's gotta know. Plus, I don't wanna spread any rumors, but I'm kind of up for the new regional manager position. Chad. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, good luck with that open position. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you would make a wonderful regional manager. But if you would let me get to it, I have a, a lot more work to get done over here to set up since it's my first day. Yeah, no, because it's, I'm sure there, you know, it's so hard <laughs> to be a receptionist. It's so hard. How do I... It's not rocket science. You kind of just like send emails, right? Like transfer calls or whatever. Okay, well, that was rude. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Well, I gotta go make some sales. Jamie, nice meeting you. Oh, hi there. Hi, I'm Jamie. I'm Austin, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Are, is this your first day here? I, I, I'm sorry, I just feel like I've seen you before. Oh, no, you know what? I get that a lot. Familiar face, all mm. that. <laughs> but yes, it is my first day. This oh. is my little corner of paradise. Well, welcome aboard. It's nice to have you on the team. It feels so good to be here. What do you do here at Grifflin? Oh, I'm a salesman. I've been doing it for about five years, I think. Wow, that's fantastic. <laughs> uh, but you know, I started off as a receptionist just like yourself. You don't say. Yeah. Before I was a salesman, this was my little corner of paradise. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, um, I think the receptionist position is what makes this office run. You know, that I, every position here in this office is important for sure, but the receptionist is the first thing clients see when they walk in through these doors. And first impressions are the most important. I guess I'd never really thought of it that way. <laughs> but you're right. I totally agree. Um, well, I gotta get to my station, but if you have any questions, any concerns, please feel free to ask me. I know how hard it can be to be the new guy at work, so don't be a stranger. Thank you so much, Austin. Appreciate it. No <laughs> Bye now. Yo. Hey, man. Oh, hey, man. Dude, how are your sales looking this quarter? Pretty good, actually. I mean, they're up 25% from last quarter, and I'm pretty happy with the results. Dude, 25%? That's like pathetic. That's wildly pathetic. God, mine are like up by like 80% from last quarter. Wow. That's incredible. All right, so here's the deal. Um, basically when I make a sale, right, I'll log it once online and then I'll log it again over the phone. So I make twice the money, two sales, but doing like half the work. It's like, it's genius. Dude, but once a company know if you're cheating, if you're cheating the numbers? Oh my gosh. No way. There's no way they would find out if I'm lying about the numbers. <laughs> I'm surrounded by idiots. This company is an, an idiot machine. It's powered by moron fuel. I'm gonna make some sweeping changes the second they make me manager. First change, numero uno, I'm gonna take that sweet receptionist out for a date. Do you mean Jamie? Jamie, sugar cakes. I forget her name. Dude, I don't think you should be asking co-workers out on a date. God. Okay, did you just get this notification to meet in the boardroom? Yeah, I did. Well, I guess they want to give me that promotion early. Which is cool, because you'll get to watch! Oh, hey, Jimmy. Hey, what's up, toots? Nice glasses. Nerd alert. <laughs> Don't listen to him, he's just kidding. Yeah, but I'm not, though. Could I get some coffee? Could you get me some coffee? I'm about to get promoted. <laughs> well, um, I'm not here for that. I'm actually here to see you get fired. What are you talking about? <laughs> You're just like the dumb receptionist. Hmm. Sir, I am not just the dumb receptionist. I'm actually the CEO of this company. Yeah. My full name is Grifflin. Jamie Grifflin. <laughs> this is a joke that's happening right now, right in front of my very eyes, because nobody would make the airhead receptionist CEO of this very important company. That just wouldn't happen, which leads me to believe Right now, I'm getting punked. You are not getting punked. This is not the magic castle. This is my company, and this is real. And the reality is that you are just a punk salesperson who treated me like the bottom rung. From the moment you walked in today, you started harassing me. And in my company, we do not tolerate that attitude of misogyny. 
just a quick question. I am the best salesman here, so who are you going to find that's better than me to fill that position? I'm looking at him right now. Who? Me? Yes. From the moment you walked in today, you exuded positivity and respect. Just from our short conversation, you made me feel valued, respected, excited to start my day. <laughs> okay, all right. I, I hate to, you know, be that guy, but who cares about feelings? Who cares about, oh, emotions, you made me feel really good. I'm a better salesman, okay? I'm a really good salesman. I'm the one that should be that regional manager. I'm the one who deserves it. <laughs> oh, Chad. Yeah, I had my accounting team double check your numbers and uh, it is quite obvious you've been lying about your sales. So, not only is Austin our most dignified and respectable candidate, he's our top salesperson as well. <laughs> okay, well, you know what? In that case, I quit. Yeah. Didn't want to work here anyway, and it's called accounting magic. It's not called lying about the numbers, just so you know. Hi, Chad. Hello, uh, my name's Carol, and I was hired recently to be a waitress here. Oh, huh. I heard there was a new girl starting. I just, am um, not exactly a, a, a girl, <laughs> you, you know. Well, I'm a woman, not a girl, and uh, I bet all the ladies here are women, not girls. Okay, well, don't get too snooty with me. Um, my name's Todd. I'm the manager of this restaurant. And, and what was your name? It's Carol. Carol Johnson. Oh, well, that's interesting. Carol's the name of our founder. Huh. Huh. That is a funny coincidence. Yeah. So here's the thing, Carol. Um, I usually don't like to hire old ladies as waitresses here because they're a little slower, moving around, and they're not as fun to look at. So I'm just I'm not sure what I'm going to do with you. <laughs> well, sir. I have tons of experience as a waitress. I've been doing this virtually all my life. See, that's the thing. Any experience before the internet, I don't really consider relevant. So, uh, here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, sweet Cheeks! Sweet Cheeks, come here. Hey, Todd, what's up? Hey, Sweet Cheeks. This is uh, Sweet Cheeks. She's one of our best waiters. Apparently, we have this old lady starting as our newer waitress, uh, and I think you ought to show her the ropes a little bit. Your name was Carol? Carol. Right? Yes. Yeah, Carol. Well, Sweet Cheeks is our best waitress. The guys love to look at her because she's so beautiful. Um, what I'm thinking is, is you shadow her for the day and then tomorrow you can get started on your own. Sound good? Well, sir, I think Here's that the thing. I don't actually care what you think, so that's what we're going to do. Okay? Off you go. All right, Carol, why don't you follow me to the kitchen? I'll show you around. Sure. Good luck. All right, so back here is the register, and this is where we tell the chef the order so they can go ahead and get started. But we do have a very large menu, so there's a couple of things that well, you're... Wait, hold on a second. What is your real name? Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's Sarah. Then why does Todd call you Sweet Cheeks? Because Todd is a total idiot and a creep, and when he first met me, he said I had a nice butt, so he calls me Sweet Cheeks. Have you ever asked him to stop it? So many times. But he said, if I don't like it, then I can just go get another job. And I, I really need this job. That is totally unacceptable. Hey, sweet cheeks, you're showing this old broad the tricks of the trade? Okay, that is enough. What? It's bad enough that you call employees unwanted names, but assault of employee, that crosses the line. Whoa, 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 let's not get carried away here. Assault, that was a love tap at best. Sarah, did you want Todd to grab your Ew, no. Look at pal. I want you out of here or I'm gonna call the police. Okay, lady, listen here. I'm not gonna listen to you. In fact, you're fired. So get out of here and don't expect to get paid for today. <laughs> <laughs> Todd, you're fired. I'm Carol Franklin, the founder and CEO of the Cheese Steak Factory. What? That's right, buddy. I go undercover as a waitress every year at my restaurants just to see how things are running at the ground level. But you are the worst, the most terrible, terrible manager I've ever seen. So you need to get out of here. You have five seconds before I call the police. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, this you have two seconds now, Todd. I'm going. I am going. Oh my God, that was incredible. 
Are you actually the founder and CEO? Yes, I am. <laughs> and you, Sarah? Congratulations. You're the new manager of this store. Oh, 